Hills, a milestone in the development of the West. In 1876, gold was discovered. Gold. Like moths to a light, men swarmed to its lure with one undying urge. Find wealth. Most men toiled to wrest their fortunes from the earth, others by violence and lawlessness. They robbed and plundered at will. Then a mysterious masked rider joined the fight for law and order. He was known as the Durango Kid. with that trick in Tuscola. What's the matter with you engines? Don't you laugh at nothing? People pay good money to see the great Smiley Burnett do feats of magic. See if I can think of another. Oh, here's one. Twenty dollars. Now keep your eye on it here. You put it in here. Say magic words. Hocus pocus, cinnamon rocus, from the great wheel of... <laughs> And you think I don't know how to get that $20 back, don't you? Oh, I kill him with that trick. Your money? Oh, no, that, that's my money. You, you think because I got that out of your ear that that's your money? Oh, no, that, that's my money. That's just a trick. Oh! oh you, you take the $20. Don't scout me. Thanks awfully, chum. Come along, Ivy Jane. Cheerio. Cheerio. <laughs> That's what you get, Smiley, for tricking Indians. What you deserve, too. <laughs> yeah, he took $20 away from me. Well, why don't you take lessons from him? Anybody that can get $20 from you must be a good magician. Hey, take a look at this. Durango Kid blamed for raids. Bonanza City Miner's victim. Rance Hudson posts $2,000 reward for Durango Kid. That Hudson rooster better quit crowing, or that Durango Kid will separate him from all of his pin feathers. You know, I've been thinking of visiting a friend of mine in Bonanza for a long time. Jim Mallory. Yeah, he's Hudson's partner in a mining machinery business. Well, let's go up there. The food's good, ain't it? <laughs> No, I don't think I'm cut out to be a hard-headed businessman. Maybe not, but you're a mighty square shooter. Sorry you sold out, Jim. Thanks, Parker, but don't worry. Rance there will take good care of you. I fixed the lunch for you, Mr. Mallory. Oh, thank you, Miss Parker. This is wonderful. It's a long way from here to California. And I'll be too busy guarding the money Rance Hudson paid me to do any real cooking. <laughs> it's a good thing you hooked up with that wagon train camp just outside of town. I guess $50,000 would tempt the Durango kid. Well, good luck, Jim. Same to you, Rance. I hope your Golden Moon Mine proves to be a bonanza, Parker. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> Thanks. Take well, care of yourself. Good luck to you. I will. Thank you all. All right. Get up, Dan. Let us hear from you. All right. Good luck. I missed Jim's name on that sign. I suppose you better have mine put in the center. I'll attend to it right away. Hi, 
Hi, Ed. Hi, Curlew. Hi, Red. Hi, boys. Now, the Mallory's out of the way, we can foreclose in a few good mines, including Parker's Golden Moon. It's a shame to let him get away with the money you paid him. He won't. You mean we're going to get it back? And a lot more. That wagon train's carrying a gold shipment from the Roaring Gold Stiggins east of here. We're going to grab it all. It'll be too well guarded for Carter and me to do it. That's why I hired Blaze Curlew and his boys to do the trick. And those newspaper stories you planted about the Durango kid's going to cover us all. each other? What do we do next? You think of everything, Carlo. I reckon we can trust each other. We'll settle up later. Right. Go ahead. You're doing the talking. The gold the moon mine's getting some gold ready for me to ship. Be easy to grab it to the mine office. It will be jumped that stage. That's right. See you later. I don't like them Jaspers, boss. Neither do I. But our best bet is to play Carlo's game. When the time comes, we'll leave him holding the bag. Kind of strange. Jim's name isn't on that window. Howdy, ma'am. My name's Steve Randall. This is Smiley Burnett. Yeah, I'm Smiley the Great, master magician and sleight of hand artist. <laughs> I'll be a wall-eyed lobo wolf if you ain't the prettiest gal ever I've seen. Oh. I'm Ann Parker. What can I do for you, gentlemen? I came to Bonanza to see my friend Jim Mallory. But if he isn't in, I just as soon talk to Mr. Hudson. Well, I'm sure Mr. Hudson will be glad to see you. Step this way, please. Thank you. I better do that. And I just happened to remember that cost me $20 the last time I'd done that. Here's a good one, though. Watch. <laughs> Next time, you better keep your shirt buttoned, Smiley, or all your tricks will fall out. <laughs> I tried to present to stay, but, well, this tells what happened. Have you any evidence that the Durango kid might have done it? 
not exactly, but we're not overlooking any possibilities to break up the lawlessness going on around here. Anyone else you might suspect? Well, some suspicious characters have been noticed around. Who are they? Plays Curlow and his brother Red. Their reputations are pretty bad. Well, thanks for your help, Mr. Hudson. See you later. You're making a mistake tipping off that Jasper to Curlew. We agreed to pin it on the Durango kid. That's what you think, Counselor. I don't get it. What's the deal? Randall is too nosy and Curlew can't be trusted. If I can pitch him against these other, we'll knock off two birds with one stone and may recover the gold at the same time. Oh, Smiley, don't be a piker. Show the lady how you can swallow this one. Oh, no, I, that, that's too low. Oh, any master magician ought to be able to swallow a sword. Why, certainly, sure, go ahead. Well, all right, but don't you get me nervous now. Whew. All the way down. <laughs> now, look at that, you just ruined my trick. That's supposed to be a trick. Well, I must get home and fix lunch for Dad. Lunch? Did I hear you say lunch? Oh, I'm so hungry I could eat saddle leather. to cover the guards at the gate. Right. Now he's late for supper. Oh, well, I wouldn't worry about it, ma'am. He'd be along any time. Say, I sure got a trick I'd like to show you. Well, I guess I can stand it. Come over right here. That's good. 
Now, you see, nothing up my sleeve but my arm with five fingers on it. And up the sleeve here. Now, hocus pocus, gentlemen, rocus, and from the world of the unreal, you rich and hurt. Humboldt, oh, Abba, and what have we here? <laughs> now, you see, miss, if you had me around all the time, you'd have fried rabbit all the time. Well, how did you do that? Oh, that's a secret. I don't tell anybody. Uh, hold on a minute. Dad. I thought your name was Bill. What kept you? Plenty am. Those outlaws made a raid on the mine. If the Durango kid hadn't shown up, they'd have cleaned me out lock, stock, and barrel. The Durango kid? I don't understand it. If he's behind the outlawry around here, why didn't he grab the gold? From what I understand, Durango doesn't bother honest people. Oh, Steve, come in. Dad, this is Steve Randall, a friend of Mr. Mallory's. Glad to know any friend of Jim's. Thank you, Mr. Parker. Come on, Smiley. I'm making ice cream, and I want you to turn the freezer. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Let's sit down. If what you say is true, maybe we could hire the Durango kid to guard our gold shipments. Then we'd be sure to get them through safely to the mine. I think you'll find his guns are not for hire, Mr. Parker. How do you know so much about the Durango kid? Well, only what I've heard. He has a reputation siding in with the underdog. Say, those birds look a lot like the gang that raided my mind today. I'll drop in on Hudson, kind of see what's going on. the Durango kid's name in the newspaper like you did is an open invitation for him to stick his nose in our business. Maybe, but we can't let him scare us out. We've got to keep those miners from getting their shepherds through. And you grab off their mines because they can't pay for the machinery you sold them, huh? You're a plumb loco, Carlo. I'm acting as a clearinghouse for the miners. Parker's sending a shipment on the morning stage. I'll arrange everything so you can take it without a fight. Just a minute, Randall. When you come in here, take time to knock. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Hudson, but I'm anxious to give you some news. What news? The Durango kid broke up a raid on Parker's mine today. That's good news. The machinery you ordered will be on its way to you in the morning, Mr. Jones. We've got to be going now, Randall. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. Ain't you got that ice cream churned yet, Smiley? Oh, my back. Do you know how long I've been turning that, that blasted thing? Since supper time and it ain't even begun to freeze. I'm worn out. <laughs> Smiley, I'm so sorry. What for, Miss Ann? I just remembered. I forgot to put the ice cream batter in the freezer. Oh, no. No, not that. I'll sadden the heart when he finds there's no ice cream. It's love's labor lost and he's prostrate with grief. The delightful confection is now just a pipe dream. With his tragic dilemma, he's limp like a leaf. I turned and I ground till I wore a big blister, but the fruits of my labor has died on the vine. The handle got hot, but I stayed there to twist her. Oh, break the news gently, I've been astir in the brine. That old ice cream freezer, that frost-covered freezer, turned out just a teaser. It's empty, I find. That old ice cream freezer, that salt-covered freezer, I'm a sad, silly geezer, and misery is mine. I drooled and I dreamed, and my anticipation grew stronger the longer I clung. I could see a big bowl with the cream cool and melty, but rather than feed me, fate hands me a prank. 
That old ice cream freezer, that soft covered freezer, turned out just a teaser. It's empty, I find. That old ice cream freezer, that soft covered freezer, I'm a sad, silly geezer, and misery is mine. Oh, boy. Hi, Steve. Really? You're going to make ice cream, and I won't forget the batter this time. Come on, Smiley. Get him, Mr. Parker. Hello, Steve. Mr. Parker, when do you expect to make your next coal shipment? In the morning. My boys have brought it in and turned it over to Hudson. He does our shipping for us. Why do you ask? Well, I was going to suggest that Smiley and I go along as guards. Well, that's, that's mighty nice of you, son. If I lose this shipment, I'm, I'm in a bad fix. Why do you say that? I've already lost two shipments to outlaws, and I've missed a couple of payments on a note that Hudson holds on my mind. So if you lose this shipment, he might foreclose on you, is that it? Yes, but he's promised to send along an extra guard this time, and with you and Smiley going along to help, I, we ought to get it through safely. Well, we'll do the best we can for you, Mr. Parker. <laughs> Lock it up and sign this receipt. Don't worry, Dad. With Steve and Smiley going along to help the other guards, I'm sure we'll make it this time. Mr. Parker, I won't be able to go along this trip. But I, I thought you'd promise to give us a hand. And I hoped I could have. But I discovered a likely outcropping of gold early this morning in the hills. And I'd like to file a claim as soon as possible. Sorry, Mr. Parker. Well, how do you like that? But don't you worry none, ma'am. I'll see this gold through if it's the last thing I ever do. Man, it's important this shipment gets through. If you're attacked by outlaws, shoot it out with them. Let it roll, Bart. <laughs> Okay. 
again. You're too late. Your friend's got it all. Your guards quit cold on you, didn't they? Yeah. I never seen such a lily livered bunch in my life. Looked like they run out on purpose. Now well, you better head for town. Get your shotgun guard from the doctor. <laughs> Ring Eye, if I don't quit this being so gun shy, I'm gonna get hurt sometime. Ring Eye, that's them stage robbers, or my name ain't Smiley the Great. If I could just trail them to their hideout and get back at gold. Ooh, wouldn't that make a hit with Ann? Come on. We can't take any chances on the Durango kid following us. Cover our back trail, Red. Get on the other side and keep out of sight. Right. That's what we want to know. You're spying for the Durango kid, ain't you? Who, me? Oh, no, I was just hunting some rabbits to do tricks with. I'm Smiley the Great, Master Magician. It'll take a Master Magician to stop the boss from skinning you alive. <laughs> Crawl out of that loop. Yes, sir. Anything to oblige, sir. Drop your gun. Yes, sir. Get leather now and get going. Yes, sir. It's all right. Hands on to lunch. How'd it go? We missed out on just one thing. That pal of Randall's got away. He isn't worth an ounce of lead anyway. Pay off the guys and have them lay low till I need him again. You sure got Parker over a barrel now, boss. He's on in the beginning. Before I'm through, I don't want every miner out here. Somebody might start asking questions. What happened to Smiley and those guards? For all the protection they gave us, they might as well have stayed behind. What do you mean? They quit cold when the road agents jumped it, and the Durango kid can prove it. The Durango kid? You mean the, the Durango kid was there? Saw the whole thing. You can bet your bottom dollar they wouldn't have gotten away with it if the Durango kid wasn't in cahoots with them. That's what you'd like everybody to believe, Hudson. Are you insinuating I planned that holdup? If the shoe fits, put it on. Dad, you'd better come home before you get into trouble. I'm in trouble now, and I think I know who caused it. I wouldn't say any more if I was you. You knew that one more raid on my shipments would ruin me, Hudson. Getting down on our man isn't being done, Hudson. What have you got to say about it? Honey. You want to shoot it out with me? I'll oblige right now. Tomorrow. If you don't make it, I take over your man. I'm mighty grateful to you, Steve. Forget it, Mr. Parker. Dad, don't you think you've gone far enough for one day? The only way Hudson will get my mind is over my dead body. And that's just the way he'll take it unless you start using your head, Mr. Parker. The Durango Kid. I want to thank you for breaking up the raid on my mind. Never mind that now. Have you any proof those outlaws are working for Hudson? No, but he didn't waste any time in saying that he was going to grab my mind. But if he is behind all this, there must be some way of smoking him out in the open. By that time, he'll have the mine. Put on an extra man. Get out all the gold you can. Meanwhile, I'll try and locate his hideout and force Hudson's hand. So you won't tell us who the Durango Kid is? Well, I ain't even ever met up with the Durango Kid. Then why were you trailing us? Don't do that. I ain't done nothing. 
You've done plenty. Get inside. Now that you know where this hideout is, and you've seen too much, we can't take any chances. Just packed 
Jam full of gold. You mean you know where the hideout is? Sure, and I was going to capture every one of them, but I had to run for my life. Good work, Smiley. Whereabouts is it? Well, it's up a Blind Canyon. Blind Canyon? These hills are full of Blind Canyons. Which one? Well, uh... uh well? Well, I've lost my sense of direction. I don't remember, I guess. I might have known that. Now, maybe I've got a way of finding out where it is. Come on, we'll head for town. you later at Ann's. Well, take your time. <laughs> Ain't nothing I'd rather do than entertain her. I'll have to get that bullet out right away. Blood poisoning might set in. Will it hurt much, Doc? Just be quiet. I'll give you an anesthetic. Uh, Not till I get through with him, Doc. Uh, this man has been shot. That's right. It's my slug in him, and I want it back. Unless he starts telling me where his gang's hideout is, I'll operate on him myself. Don't you let him touch me. I can't allow you to take liberties with my patients. Doc, I've every reason in the world to believe that this man was one of the gang that killed Jim Mallory. Jim? Why, Jim was one of my best friends. In that case, you just leave him in my hands for a few minutes. I think he'll talk. Of course, it isn't ethical, but I have no choice. I operated on a horse once, but he died. Now, you can make this easier on yourself, mister, if you want to start talking. I ain't saying nothing. Well, I'll get my slug back anyway. Give me a scalpel, Doc. <laughs> mm. Razor sharp. Now, this is going to hurt you a lot more than it does me. You just hold steady. I'll get that slug. <laughs> Easy. Wait. Wait. I'll talk. All right, go ahead. I'll tell you everything. Go ahead. The hideout's in Lost Canyon, just five miles west of the Golden Moon Mine. Your gang wiped out that wagon train, didn't they? They only followed orders. Who's orders? Rance Hudson? Blaze Curlew's my boss. I don't know anything about Hudson. <sighs> Thanks, Doc. It's all yours now. Well, just make sure that Jasper stays here for a while. Well, he'll be laid up for a week. Good. Twenty-four ounces, exactly. Don't move and you won't get hurt. If this is your idea of a joke, Durango, put that gold in the sack, lady. I should have known better than to trust a masked outlaw. You deliberately tricked us into working overtime to get that gold out just so you could grab it. I'm taking it. You and your outlaw pals ought to be satisfied now. You've ruined us completely. Turn around, both of you. Hey, what's all the shooting for? The Durango kid just robbed us of every grain of gold we have. I don't understand it. First he helps us, then robs us. I can't believe that. What do you want? Is Hudson in? Yeah, but he ain't seen you after what you did to him yesterday. You got a lot of nerve coming here, Randall. I'm sorry, Hudson, about yesterday, but it would have gone badly with you to gun down an unarmed man. What's on your mind? I located Curl's hideout. Where is it? In Lost Canyon. Curl's planning to quit the country. I grabbed these two pokes and made a run for it to get your help. Get the men at the saloon. It's our chance to rid this country of that gang once and for all. That's what I figured. I'll put these in my vault and be right with you. Good. One way into Lost Canyon. Make sure that Carlo doesn't get out with that gold. I'll go along with you and guide you right to the place. No, you better let the doctor look at that wound. I guess you're right. Why not let him come along with us? 
He might learn something about us. I'll get going and pay back the call if you have to gun every last one of that outfit. Right. Come on. with our share of that gold, so we come to get it. Who told you that? Steve Randall. Said he had a run-in with you up here. That's a lie. Nobody's been here. Unless he framed us into shooting each other up while he's grabbing the gold at the hideout. Maybe he's up there now. Let's keep shooting just in case. Go ahead.
heart, little girl, bless your heart. Bless your heart, little girl, bless your heart. You're as sweet as you can be, and I'm glad that you love me. Bless your heart, little girl, bless your heart. I'll be true, little girl, I'll be true. I'll be true, little girl, I'll be true. You're the one for me, I know, and that's why I love you so. I'll be true, little girl, I'll be true. Wait for me, little girl, wait for me. Wait for me, little girl, wait for me. Can't you see while I am gone that my love will still go on? Wait for me, little girl. Return your losses, why don't you pay Hudson off? He won't accept raw gold as payment unless we discount it 25%. You shouldn't have any trouble in getting your shipments through now. What makes you say that, Steve? Durango Kid told me those outlaws are all washed up. Does that mean that I've been wrong about Hudson? Maybe not. But we can find out once and for all by sending through another shipment. What are you driving at, Steve? We'll just tell Hudson we're going to make the shipment ourselves. And I'll drive that stage myself this time. <laughs> and I'll go along and be a gun guard, and if any outlaws show up, I'll just blast them to smithereens. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're taking a big chance risking another shipment, Parker. I don't think so. Now the Durango kid has smashed the Curlow gang. I still think you're making a mistake. Maybe, but I've got until sundown before you can foreclose on my mind. Well, good luck to you. Thanks, boys. Better get out to the mine, and don't let anybody set foot on that property until I get back. Goodbye, sweetheart. Goodbye, Dad. Take care of yourself.
and start rolling. you to accept this gold-plated gun as a token of our appreciation, Steve. Well, you should give it to the Durango kid. After all, he's responsible for rounding up all the Hudson Curl gang. You're a friend of his, aren't you? Yes, in a way, I... Well, you just see that the Durango kid gets it and makes good use of it, breaking up outlaw gangs. You can count on that. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Smiley, we better get back to the Indian reservation. Not me. I've decided to stay here and look after things. You'll have only Dad to look after, Smiley, because I'm going back east to get married. Oh, doggone, I always lose out on everything. <laughs> Bye, Ann. How do you know? Seems like a good one.